Hi Sai, one day Sid Yai Bing, Chao Ganju. Welcome everyone, I'm your host Sid. I hope you're doing well and I thank you for your continuing support to this channel. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. This will really help the channel grow. The background today is Kadena Air Force Base. Kadena Air Force Base is located in central Okinawa in the city of Kadena. Originally, it was a small Japanese airfield used by the Japanese military in World War II. And now, after enlargement, it is the largest U.S. Air Force base in the Pacific. The base has 18,000 U.S. military and family members and about 4,000 Okinawans working on the base. Kadena Air Force Base is one of 32 military facilities on the island of Okinawa. I'll do a separate video on U.S. military bases on Okinawa in the future since the U.S. military is a significant presence on the island and knowing something about bases may help some of your Uchinaguchi conversations. Okay, let's start. Today's topic is self-introductions. I'll be doing this topic in two videos. The first video will be common self-introduction phrases found in textbooks. The second video will be common phrases used by native Uchinan Chus. So be sure to watch both videos. I'm going to add some preliminary phrases that would be said before self-introduction to supplement the textbook phrases. The first situation is when you are looking for a particular person who you might want to meet. You would probably ask the person who he is. Unjo higa sang yaibiga, which means, Are you Mr. Higa? He would confirm he is, and then you would introduce yourself. Or, your friend may be introducing you to some other people. Your friend would say, Wanne dushi unnuki abira, which means, Let me introduce you to my friend. And then you would begin your self introduction. The following would be typical self-introduction phrases you would use. If you are a male, you would say, Hajimiti ya asai. If you are a female, you would say, Hajimiti ya atai. Which means, nice to meet you. How do you do? We covered the usage of sai and tai in video 7. So review it if necessary. Okay, let's say, Hajimiti ya asai or hajimiti ya tai three times hajimiti ya sai hajimiti ya sai hajimiti ya sai great a more polite version of this phrase is hajimiti uganabira which means it's a pleasure to meet you let's say this three times hajimiti uganabira Hajimiti Uganabira. Hajimiti Uganabira. Fantastic. You might follow up by saying, Wankutu Unnuki Yabira, which means, Let me introduce myself. Let's say this three times. Wankutu Unnuki Yabira. Wankutu Unnuki Yabira. Wankutu Unnuki Yabira. Great. The next phrase was covered in video 8 and it is Wanne Name Yaibing, which means I am name. And you would replace your name in the curly brackets name. Let's say this three times, substituting your name into the sentence Wanne Sid Yaibing. Wanne Sid Yaibing. Wanne Sid Yaibing. Another way of saying this is Wanne Name Di Ichoibing, which also means I am name. Literally, it means I am called name. 
Let's say this three times. Wanne siddi ichoi bing. Wanne siddi ichoi bing. Wanne siddi ichoi bing. An example presented in textbook is the following phrase. Wanne place kara chabitang. This phrase means I am from place. Usually, this is used when you are not from the local area. Let's say this three times and replace place with the area you're from. Wanne Hawaii kara chabitang. Wanne Hawaii kara chabitang. Wanne Hawaii kara chabitang. In the next video, we'll cover additional commonly used phrases used by Uchinan Chus. These phrases are based on my statistical collection of actual self introductions, so these won't normally be found in textbooks. Please be sure to watch the next video. You would always close your self introduction with Yutasaru Gutu Unege Sabira, which means please be nice to me. There is another phrase that sounds similar to this. It is Yutashiku Unege Sabira. However, some Okinawans say this is a Japanese version of the phrase Yoroshiku Onegai Shimas. So, Yutasaru Gutu Unege Sabira is a better phrase to use. So, let's say this three times Yutasaru Gutu Unege Sabira. Yutasaru Gutu Unege Sabira. Yutasaru Gutu Unege Sabira. Okay, you guys are doing fine. A phrase with the same meaning when speaking to a person of higher status or elderly person is Mishi Chotte Kumisore, which means please favor me with your kind consideration. Let's say this three times Mishi Chotte Kumisore. Mishi chotte kumisore. Mishi chotte kumisore. Fantastic. So, there are variants of this phrase, such as Mishi chotte kumisei bidi, which is honorific form, and Mishi chotte kumisori, which is a little more casual, and Mishi chotte kuriyo, which is a very plain form. But we'll leave this for another video. A third closing phrase is Uhachi ni uiche uganabira. It also means it's a pleasure to meet you and should be used in a very formal situation. Let's say this three times Uhachi ni uiche uganabira. Uhachi ni uiche uganabira. Uhachi ni uiche uganabira. Very good. Now we know a collection of phrases that can be used in self introductions. Continue to practice these phrases. It may come in handy if you go to events like the Uchinanchu Tai Kai. This is the last phrase for this video. Remember, next week's video is a continuation of this topic and will exclusively be phrases commonly used by Uchinanchus. Not normally included in textbooks. If you found this video useful, please like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. As always, thank you for viewing. Mata ya sai.